Hello, dear student, and welcome to the Terabyte Series Elective ICT Practical Exams videos. My name is Sebru, and in today's episode, I will be taking you through a past question from 2018 school candidate WASI exam. Now, as I always do, I'm going to split my screen into two, our question on the left-hand side and our text editor for solving the question on our right-hand side. Now, question one is an HTML question that says, with the help of an appropriate text editor, create the HTML code to produce the form below. B, set the title of the page to your full name and index number. The program codes must be properly indented. C, save the file as form.html in the folder created. So we are going to go ahead and create our HTML basic structure. So as we know, anytime you create a tag, you need to close it. Now we understand that everything else in this document is going to fall within our basic header from HTML to HTML. In this tag, we are going to declare the type of document our document is to our browser. Doc type, exclamation doc type declares the kind of document it is to your browser. Now, there are a number of browsers that will identify this as an HTML code without doc type, but there are browsers that would not. So it's important to declare. Now, in our HTML, we have some basic tags. First one is the head, which we'll go ahead to close. Then we have our body, which we'll also go ahead to close. And then we are done. In the head, we have the title, which is very important to our exercise here because we have been asked to use our index number and our full name for the title, thus in the B part, set the title of the page to your full name and index number. In the body, we are going to have a form. Right, I'm going to go ahead and save this as the question C has demanded as form.html. However, pardon me, I'm going to save it as form four because I have created other forms in the past, .html. That's all files and save. Now I'm going to go ahead and open this document we have saved from four. And you will notice that the title is showing us a couple of tags. However, we've been asked that our full name and our index number shows in the title. So we are going to go ahead, close this tag, and then enter our full name, mine is Brew. My index number is 10112323. So the index number I've adopted. And that does it for our head. So our head basically contains our title. If we go ahead and save what we've done so far and refresh, you automatically notice that Sebru 10112323 is what is showing for our title of our website. Now to the other part of the question, that is the actual crux of the question to create this form. Our form belongs to the body of the HTML basic structure. Now our form is going to be ordered using a table. We're going to open a tag for table. We're going to go ahead and close the table tag. Now, by brief inspection, you realize that our table is made up of three columns. Column one, having name and comment. Column two, having two text boxes. And column three, having the submit button. Our form is also made up of three rows. Row one, having name and the text box. Row two, having comment and the text box. And row three, having just the submit button. So we are going to create our table with this in mind. So first, our first row, which we are going to create by using the tag tr 
go ahead and close it, TR. In this particular table row, we have two kinds of data. So we have, I'm going to create our first data using the tag TD and it says what? Name, go ahead and we'll close our data. However, in this same row, we have under data, which is a text box. So we also create TD tag, but to write, to create our text box, we are going to use the tag input. And then the properties we need to do this are the input type, which we are expecting a text because we are looking for a name. And the name that we want to be entered will be provided by the user. So we represent that with two quotation marks, and then we go ahead and close the tag. Once we have closed the tag, we have to close the TD tag itself also. So we are done with table row one. Let me indent my quotes so that it's clear how the structure has been defined. So we have this content representing table row one, that is name and then a text box represented by our input tag here. If I go ahead and I save this and then I refresh my page here, we are going to have name and then a text box that I can write in. The second row of our table has comment and then under text box we can literally copy the code we just wrote in order to duplicate our table. But for the purpose of this presentation, let me just create another table row. So we're gonna have another table row. I'm going to go ahead and close it. In this table, we are going to have two kinds of table data. Okay. First one is going to be comment, which we are going to go ahead and close. Then we are going to have a text box. We're also going to have its own tag. Input the type is a comment is text, right? So input is text. And then the value will be provided by the user. All right, so this now becomes the content of row two. We can go ahead and save this and then take a look at what choose okay awesome so now we have name text box comment and under text box the last requirement of our exercise is to create a submit button this is going to go in row three so we are once again going to create a row which we are going to close Now, in this particular rule, we have no data in the first column, no data in the second column, and then in the last column, we have the submit button. So we are going to create data items for those empty rows. Right, so So to create our submit button, we are going to, first of all, create our table row, as we said. And this table row is going to have three columns. Now we can simply copy what we did here. And paste. However, the data, right, the content 
of the first two columns is going to be empty. So we are going to have empty data for the first column because in our question, the data, the submit button is on the far right hand side, as you can see. So that's in column three. So our second column is also going to be empty. Now, the reason why we are even creating the tags in the first place, because without creating them, what is going to happen is that um, our text editor will by default put our submit button in the first column. I can show you that. So let me just show you that. So imagine we've not done all this and all we want to do is just create a submit button in our row, which we have already typed out. We'll go ahead and create just one table data. And then to create our submit button, we're going to use the tag input. The type is going to be submit. And then the property value is also going to be submit, right? So we can go ahead and save this. And there we have it. The submit button is on the far left-hand side. However, as you can see in our question, it's supposed to be on the far right-hand side. So we need to shift it to the far right-hand side. And as I have mentioned, we are using a table. So we are using columns, right? So we are going to insert two columns that are empty before our third column. So the first column is just TD, close TD. There's nothing to represent in that column. Then the second one is TD, close TD. There's nothing to represent. And then our submit button comes into the third column. As you notice in the previous tables, there was nothing in the third column, was just two columns, TD1, TD2, TD1, TD2. But now we have TD1, TD2, TD3. That sets the submit button apart. We'll go ahead and save this, and then we can test our results. And there we have it. Our submit button is on our right-hand side. So that basically brings us to the end of our question because we have already saved the, the form as form.html and then we have properly indented our codes. Thank you so much for tuning in. Catch you on the next episode.